Hey Cancer, welcome to Awaken Blue Hearts Tarot. For those of you that are new, my name is Danielle. For those of you that are returning, hey y'all. How you guys doing? Okay, so I'm going to jump into the second half of September for you guys. Um, this is going to be the reading from today, September 16th up until September the 30th. All right, so we're going to go ahead and get started here. Let's see what's going on. Second half of the month, Cancer. All right, Spirit, what's going on with Cancer, please? Second half of September. Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture, okay? Mm. Give your relationship a chance. Work on your partnership. One more card for Cancer, and there it is. Wedding. Ah, okay, Cancer. All right, this situation involves uh, marriage, okay? Oh, I said wedding. <laughs> okay, so Cancer, they're asking you to express your love, express your feelings towards the other person, or maybe they need to do that to you. Maybe somebody needs to give, you know, the situation a chance here because there is marriage involved. You guys could be, you know, I guess going towards marriage, or some of you guys could already be married, and it's asking you guys to open, look at that. Yeah, look at the emperor. It's like, it's asking you guys, you know, to give it a chance. You know, somebody needs to open up and really express to the other person, like, their feelings, you know, what it is that they want. Okay, so let's go ahead and, like, jump into it. Let's see what's going on, Cancer. All right, yeah, they're ready. Cards are ready. They're tight. Okay, there we go. All right, Cancer. So let's see. Bottom of the... You cannot make this up. The Emperor again. I, I knew it. The Emperor was peeking out at me, guys. Okay, so some of you guys could be dealing with an Aries. If not, it's like you guys are looking for stability in your life. Okay, with death here, it could be dealing with a Scorpio or it's just saying that something needs to come to an end so that something new can begin. Maybe someone's going through a transformation, you know, like out with the old and with the new, you know, maybe correcting something within themselves because, yeah, somebody basically doesn't have hope in the situation anymore. Y'all, the Ace of Wands tried to jump out. Can't take it. <laughs> it's like, you know, some of you guys could be dealing with an Aquarius, but if not, it's like... This needs to go here. I feel like it needs to swap. Okay. Basically, what I'm seeing here is like you guys are in your head because you're feeling like there's no hope in the situation. You're feeling like something's been lost. You no longer want to put in the work um, towards fixing the situation with this person anymore. Which is why the Give Your Relationship a Chance card came out. Somebody's tired. Look at that. Yeah, this love still here. Somebody still wants to be with the other person. You know, they could be trying to come in with an offer here. Look at that. Somebody's coming in with an offer. Come on, spirit. You just better preach to cancer today. <laughs> with the hermit here, it's like, you know, this, like I said, this offer is coming in. It's an offer of love. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but or Virgo could be coming in trying to give you this offer. But if not, they're asking you guys to take a step back to evaluate the situation here. Because, yeah, somebody's coming in. They want to give you their cup of love. They're offering it here. Mm, okay. Yeah, but it's something's moving really slow. Maybe they want to offer you this cup of love. They want to offer you this partnership, but they're not speaking up. But the truth is going to come out. Or it already did, hmm, with the tower in reverse. Tell me more about the truth here. What's going on with the tower in reverse? Okay, so looks like the truth came out about something, Cancer, and it's like now you guys are not taking a leap towards this person. What happened? Tell me about the fool in reverse, please, for Cancer. Some of you guys could be dealing with an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, but I feel like you're not taking a leap towards this person. You had to, you cut them off. You cut somebody off. Will of Fortune, but yeah, either you're moving on away from this person, or I feel like this person, again, they're trying to come back, and you might be moving forward with the person, but I feel, you're definitely in your head. I feel like you're at a crossroads. You don't know, you know, which way to go right now. Tell me more. What's going on with cancer? Yeah, you guys are trying. I think you're moving on. It's like you guys are trying your best not to look back at the past. You could have been dealing with a, another water sign, Pisces, a cancer like yourself, or a Scorpio, but 
this person was very sneaky, very manipulative. Yeah, you guys might have found out about a three-party situation here. And that's probably why you're over it. The truth came out about it. Oh, Lord. Y'all, yeah, it's two people here. I have, let me do it like this. You know, I'm a visual person. So let me show y'all what I'm looking at. So look at this. I have the King of Cups in reverse, the Three of Cups, and the King of Pentacles. Y'all, definitely three-party situation. Somebody's dealing with two men, water sign, earth sign. It could, they're not. I don't take the cards as being gender specific, so it could be two females somebody's dealing with. Water sign, earth sign, they could just have those, you know, elements in their chart. But three-party situation, you guys are definitely in. Somebody's having to make a decision here between two people. You know, some of you guys could be dealing with a cancer, but I think you, you know, somebody wants to move forward. Somebody wants to, you know, maybe take the relationship and move on, but they're frustrated. Somebody is definitely frustrated right now. Told y'all, somebody's in their head, but it's like the situation is getting ready to move fast. Let's move y'all down here. Okay, yeah, but it's like you guys don't have a peace of mind because I feel like this offer is coming in fast. I feel like this person doesn't want to let you guys go or vice versa. And it's like, you know, they're worried. Or it could be you're worried. Maybe that if you give them another chance, they're going to play you again. Yeah, because look, somebody wants to start over. Somebody wants to build something new here. But it's like you guys aren't happy with this person. You don't see balance with them. You're not content with them. Maybe their finances aren't where they need to be. But somebody wants a happy home maybe you still see a happy home with this person you know and they just hurt you because of that three-party situation or you hurt them you know take it however it resonates you know i feel like you guys are the queen of cups you are the queen of cups it's like you know you guys are emotional because look there's a decision that needs to be made tell me more yeah you found out this person had other options here with the seven of cups you didn't like you know what you were seeing from this person oh my god y'all a car flew out. I'm looking at it, but it's behind my desk. <laughs> like, kind of to the side. But it basically, it's the hangman in reverse. Um, so that's telling me, like, you guys are stuck in limbo because, you know, you basically don't feel like there's not going to be a new beginning. You feel like it's, it's a wrap, you know, because this person left you out in the cold. Yeah, look, you're feeling like there's not going to be a new beginning here. Tell me more. I'm going to have to do something because I'm tired of my cars flying out behind my desk <laughs> or on the side. Um, queen of Wands, okay? Tell me more. Okay, yeah, so you guys are acting like the Queen of Wands here. You guys are trying to be positive in the situation. You're trying to keep your head up. You could be talking to other people, and it's like, you know, you made a decision. What's the decision for cancer? You're feeling like things are not improving here, but you're coming out of feeling like something was lost. You know, if you guys are worried about money, money not improving, you know, you're going to let it go. Maybe this person helped you out financially. You know, it's like you're, you're over it. You're, you're, you're not holding on. Yeah, love is coming in slow. Communication is coming in slow. Could have been dealing with a Leo here, but it's like you guys just don't have the strength to, you know, continue dealing with this anymore. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. But somebody's coming back to give you an offer, guys. Yeah, they're trying to manifest you back into their life here. But with the Page of Pentacles, those are breadcrumbs. You know, it's not a, to me, it's not a strong offer. You know, but they're, they're coming back. They're trying to manifest you into their life. But I keep looking at what's on the table here with the Magician. Because you see the person, it's, it's other elements here, you know. So it's like the offer is coming in, but it's breadcrumbs because it's like you still feel like this person has other options that seven of cups they have other people you know other things with them that you don't like you feel like there's not going to be an equal partnership here there's not going to be a give and take relationship here you know maybe you have kids with this person or you saw yourself having kids with this person you know having a a good family life with them you know and maybe that could be why this person is trying to turn things around or maybe you're thinking about turning things around but you know that there's no balance with them like i said you know maybe their finances aren't where you know it needs to be or vice versa but yeah there's no balance you feel like the seeds that were planted they're not gonna grow here and with temperance um you could be dealing with the sagittarius but if not it's like you know you just want balance in your life you know you want balance what's going on with the king of wands here fire sign aries leo or sagittarius yeah it's like somebody's trying to take the lead here i feel like the person that messed up they're trying to win your heart back they're trying to you know they want to tell you something it's the truth justice hmm could be dealing with a libra 
Tell me about justice in reverse. I'm getting two scenarios, but let me just see. Yeah, some of you guys, I feel like you're walking away from this person because I have justice in reverse and the world in reverse. It's like the truth came out. Um, for those of you who are married, you're definitely thinking about getting out of a marriage or getting out of some type of commitment here because you feel like there's not going to be a new beginning. Yeah, queen of swords in reverse. Yep. You guys are embodying the queen of swords in reverse. It's like, she's not giving this person another chance. Like, no, you're cutting it off. You're feeling like things are not improving here. And you, right now, it's like, you know, you you could have cut off, like, communicating with this person here. Because there's, like, a message somebody wants to give to the other person. Or you could want to give this person a message, but you're not. You're holding it in. You feel like this person is very immature. Very childish the way, you know, that they handled the situation here. And so, or they could be younger than you. But with the devil in reverse, you know, you feel like the situation is just toxic. And you're walking away from it because you're not happy with the sun in reverse. You're over it. You know, and you're back and forth. Yeah, there was definitely a three-party situation here. You know, it's like it broke your heart. You're disappointed. But it's like this person put you through this mess again. Or you found out, you know, about it this first go, you know, time around. But, you know, you're undecided about what to do. You're undecided. You know, I'm really feeling, you guys love this person. And it's like you're over it. You're tired. You know, you're, you're feeling like there's not going to be a victory in this situation anymore. Tell me more. Yeah, could have been dealing with a Gemini here, but love is definitely here. That's why I said, like, you guys really love this person. They really love you, and it broke your heart that they put you through this three-party situation, but you're coming out of being frustrated about it. You're letting go. You're no longer staying up late at night, you know, in your head, worried about it. You're over it, you know, but with the two of swords, it's like you guys got to make a decision because you're stuck at a crossroads. You're trying to debate whether you should leave this person or stay and work it out because at the end of the day, Ten of Cups is here. You want that happy contentment, you know, life with them. You want that happy, fulfilling, you know, relationship with this person, but you're back and forth on whether or not this person can even give it to you at this point. Tell me more about cancer, please. Ooh, Seven of Swords tried to jump. Yeah, I feel like some of you guys feel like this person's still sneaky. Yeah, but you're coming out of being frustrated about the situation here. You know, you're getting ready to open up and tell this person how you really feel. Like I said, I feel like you did block communication. Yeah, because look, the truth is coming out. Could be dealing with a Pisces. What I tell y'all, communication. Somebody's communicating how they really feel. They're communicating something. It could be the truth. You want to tell this person off? <laughs> like, how, you know, how they make you feel you're opening up. But I feel like they're going to come back and they want to give you the truth. They want to, they're trying to tell you something. Yeah, you feel like this person's sneaky, you know? You don't want to deal with it. The higher in reverse could have been dealing with a Taurus here, but yeah, maybe some of you guys are trying to sneak away from this commitment, trying to sneak away from this marriage, you know? Or you just feeling like this person is just sneaky. And so it's like, I don't see a commitment with you anymore. I don't see marriage with you. And right now I'm getting ready to focus on my money. I'm focusing on me because you want to play these games with different people. And now guess what? I'm focusing on me, you know, but somebody wants something to improve here with the nine of cups. Tell me more. Yeah. You guys are using your intuition now. Tell me more. Looks like you guys will be coming out of conflict with this person. You're coming out of being frustrated. Tell me more. But somebody's still carrying a burden. But now there's somebody has confidence. Tell me more. Why wow, but the last three or four want to do this? The last three or four don't want to come out. Every reading. <laughs> come on. What's going on? I'm going to just start pulling one. Yeah. Oh, y'all thought it was coming out. Tell me about the Knight of Cups in reverse, please. Y'all, my wrist hurt. <laughs> Come on, spirit. Please tell me what's going on with the Knight of Cups. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Okay, so you guys are coming out of feeling like, you know, you were stabbed in the back by this person. But, you know, when you look at this person, you feel like there's no stability with them. Could be dealing with an Aries. Um, but you're walking away. You walked away from this person if you haven't already. But I feel like they're going to come back. They're coming back. They're going to give you what it was that you're looking for here. It's a gift. Something you've been hoping and wishing for, they want to give it to you now. So, yeah. Cancer, what you going to do? Please, you know, leave me some comments. Let me know if this resonated for you guys. Um, 
Yeah, because I want to see, like, if this has already happened, if it's getting ready to happen. Yeah, tell me what's going on. Um, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, um, you can email me at awakenblueheartarot at gmail.com, and I got you. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed your reading. Talk to you soon.